a teammate with DC United and Bolivia, Marco Echeverry, to present Jaime Moreno for induction. You know, after 11 years I retired, uh, the fans and, and people still uh, believe that uh, I, I should be here and I'm very thankful that they thought about me and uh, they voted for me. We feel very important because we started this league and we're the pioneers, even though we were 10 teams at the time. How would you say American soccer looks to you now <coughs> compared to when you came here? Oh, it's a big difference. Uh, big difference, you know. Uh, we used to play in football stadiums, baseball stadiums, uh, and we have to get adjusted to everything that we, that we have to do. It has changed a lot uh, for the good, and also, you know, seeing a lot of young, talented players uh, doing really well. Uh, I think that that was the, the goal. But it's just it's just great to see that every team have, has a stadium, uh, academies, and all all the stuff that a big team needs. Does it give you a sense of pride to see that growth? Do you feel like you played a, a part in it? I do, I do. Uh, also because all the recognitions, I think that make you believe that you did the right things. And uh, just the fact that, you know, like I said, it's been that long since I retired and uh, people are still thinking about me and uh, that's, that's something that tells me that I did the right thing and, and I'm very proud. You lifted a lot of trophies uh, in your career. Is there is there a moment that stands out as your favorite? Definitely the, the uh, international uh, tournaments that we had like CONCACAF and, and uh, Inter-American Cup. I think those, those two, the, the stand up uh, big. But 96 being the first MLS Cup ever you know that's that's a big one and uh, personal for me it was 2004 when I came back from New York and uh, I had a serious injury uh, herniated this so nobody thought I was gonna be able to to play again uh, not even myself I, I doubt it sometimes but it was a big year for me and uh, you know winning that year it was very special too how would you describe the, the Hall of Fame and how would you describe uh, what it means to you to be honest, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I, I'm always been more interested on on winning as a team trophies. Uh, this recognition for me is, I think, is my last one. I don't think there is another one. So uh, I'm taking advantage of it. I'm I'm really I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna you know take a time and, and think about it, but. To be honest, it's a, it's a hard question. I don't know re what it really means. The only thing I know is that I'm there with the best ones in, in, in America, so that feels good. Do you think it's important for a place like this to preserve the history of the game? Sure. Uh, I think they've done a tremendous job, you know, keeping all the... I just saw all the trophies and all the jerseys. Uh, I didn't even know that my jersey was here, so uh, it's awesome to see uh, the, 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 these people that they, they keep in all uh, all these things that in the future that means a lot for anybody who can come here and, and see 